Hello, welcome back guys to 911 scales to another model car review. This time three 118 scale 992 Turbo S model cars. These came out yeah, yeah, quite some time ago. This one came out together with the Targa Heritage models. And we have three versions here, two made by Mini Champs, one in GT Silver Metallic, one in Black and then the Spark version made in paint to sample Oak Green Metallic which is such an awesome color and it was a huge surprise that they made this model. This one's limited to 1000 pieces. This one is also a bit cheaper than the Heritage Targa. So that these were 249 euros, but this one costs 229 euros, which is, I think, a great price for a Spark limited edition Porsche model car. Back in the day, this one would easily have been 299 euros when we compare it like for example with the Turbo S exclusive series so that was so expensive and this price here yeah, I think is much better. These two are 99 euros and these are definitely the cheap versions. Um, this is pretty much yeah for kids um, more like a toy model car not that much uh, as a display model car for this one which comes with a bottom plate and display case all that stuff but yeah made by me champs and made by Spark 229 euros 99 euros yeah, so let's grab the camera and see what the difference is actually about these three. All right, then let's start with the Mini Champs version. So the two models have exactly the same specifications. So we both have the sport exhaust on both models. Um, we have not the aero kit, just the standard front, but that is actually well made. I would say the details here for the daytime running lights look all right. There's a little radar for the radar cruise control. The Matrix LEDs look also all right. I think especially at that price point. Porsche Crest, I think is a bit too big on the rear. Here the light strip looks all right, but as you will see it on the Spark version, that will look a bit better. We have the Porsche writing here in silver. Also the model designation here in silver and the grills on top here are also in silver. One difference between the two models, this one comes with a panoramic roof. This one does not have that. And here I think the color does not match that well. And then the side profile, these wheels actually turn again. We have the lovely Turbo S wheels with the silver accent and the gloss black inserts. We have the center lock wheels with the Porsche crest. Looks actually very well, especially for a mini champs version. I did not expect it that. Carbon ceramic brakes with yellow brake calipers look all right for the price point, but not particularly well done. Uh, this air inlet for the turbo looks, I think, not that good. They really could have tried to make it a bit deeper down. This really does not hit my taste that well. Interior for the two models is actually black and this is actually also quite detailed. Let me show you that. But for 99 euros I would say that is actually very well done. Or oh, what would you say? Steering looks all right. Instrument cluster looks particularly well. I don't see any errors whatsoever like with the Taycan which they made where they only had four circles instead of five but here it looks really good the ref counter and all the other displays are visible and look great then we have the middle console which looks good we have the gear selector the controls for the seats and all that stuff what is a bit funny I think we have a window controls there or at least some uh, panoramic roof controls so that would actually be an error with the silver one, but it would be all right with the black one. So I would let that through for mini champs because it's pretty much the same model and otherwise they would have made two different center consoles with different stickers. What looks really good on the other hand are the yeah, switches for the different car controls like for example the hazard lights and all that stuff. The carbon fiber accent thing is also really cool that they've done that and also the Google Maps view of Zuffenhausen from the Porsche Museum, the Porsche Platz is also visible. And here we have the Spark version and you can instantly see the details are much better. Not only here below in the front area with the air vents, the radar, but also the lights look better and the brakes and wheels look also better. But the overall highlight of this model car is obviously the oak green color on par with a black Iceland green interior, which I'm going to show you just in a second. There the details are much better and also much better this air vent here right goes much further and looks way better you can see the end of it but if you're looking normally on the model you really do not notice it side view um one thing i would criticize even though the wheels look really good especially the center locks look a bit better than on the mini champs version also the brake calipers look a lot better the disc 
itself does not look as good as I would expect it from Spark. Right, when you know it, I really like my Speedster Spark models with their awesome carbon ceramic brake disc. Here they definitely lack this kind of surface on them. But what looks actually very good here at the rear, you can see all the locks to hold the brake disc in place looks really well. Then the rear, we also have the sport exhaust. And then I think the whole rear light arrangement looks way better, especially the Porsche writing here, 911 Turbo S logo also in silver. And we also have the exclusive design rear lights. I think there is no red in there. They're completely transparent, really cool detail, especially when you like Porsche exclusive specification. This is awesome. Same uh, story as with the other cars. So there is no aero package, so standard rear wing, which looks awesome, especially in oak green. The rear window has the heated uh, rear wing in there. As you, I don't know if that's the right vocabulary, but it is visible, looks really good. And we also have silver grills on top of the engine. What could look a bit better again here, the air outlets for the turbos. Yeah, but I don't know if it's possible to do it otherwise so that you don't see the end of them. Other little detail is also here, the Toho cover. But now let's jump onto the model in the interior. Now this here is Spark at its finest, right? The steering wheel looks so good with the Porsche crest, all the buttons, the drive mode selector for the Sport Chrono package watch. Everything is there. We also have the five circles for the instrument, which looks really good, especially the ref counter, I think looks perfect. Then further back, we have again um, the gear selector, the air conditioning controls. We have the exact screen, the home screen, as you get it in the real car for the infotainment, the PCM screen. I really also like the contrast with the black and the Iceland green. And there's also some Iceland green stitching on the dashboard, which looks really good. So yeah, I think um, definitely if you're looking for a display model car and you want a 992 Turbo S, this one is the one to have. The color is just awesome. Quality and details are also great, as you can expect with a Spark. These two are also great, especially for that lower price point. Quality is all right, details are all right. The wheels turn also, which is kind of cool. And yeah, that's it again for this model car review. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe for the next model car reviews and my other Porsche content. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, join our Discord server to stay in contact, and then we see each other in the next one. Till then, ciao.